Oh my gosh, we have finally made it to Jurassic World the exhibition. Now I've been waiting so long to do this. It was in San Antonio for a while and it came down closer to LA, so I'm like, yeah, I'm driving. We're about to board a ferry that takes us over to Jurassic World. Are you ready to see some dinosaurs? Your heart is, like Your heart is racing, I know, I'm also like... excited. All right, all aboard everyone, we're on our way to the island. We just made it to Isla Nublar, and oh my gosh, here's the Jurassic World gate. Now check out the Branchiosaurus that sits in this little area over here. This looks so awesome. Now the coolest part about this exhibition is we can touch real dinosaur poop. Now as weird as that sounds, it's actually very educational. You're able to feel herbivore, omnivore, and carnivore dinosaur poop. And honestly, they all feel so weird. Now we're heading to a darker section of Jurassic World and I believe this is where we could see real Raptors! Oh my gosh, look at Echo! Look at Delta trying to get out right now. She's shaking, she's moving her nostrils. So guys, right now they're bringing us over to Raptor Encounter, and this is where we're going to be able to meet Blue. So Eric, I have to ask you, what are your thoughts on the exhibit so far? It's amazing. I don't have words. I'm speechless, honestly. I didn't think this event or exhibition was going to be as good as I thought. I got the chills! So you guys have to check it out while it's here. So right now we just made our way in front of this high voltage fence that we shouldn't touch because it's high voltage. I mean Eric, I it's, it. it's really temp- You touched it? How did that feel? It it's 10,000 like, volts. And then you our scientists, rangers, and handlers work with velociraptors, gaining insight into how they think, move, and hunt. Today, you will get a rare behind-the-scenes encounter with one of Jurassic World's most incredible raptors, Blue. A word of warning, although you're safe behind the enclosure, please keep your distance. Despite all of our work here, raptors remain carnivores with killer instincts. And now, I'd like for you to meet Blue! Oh my gosh, Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous is here. Everyone, what? come closer this way and meet our baby Kylosaurus. Her name is. Don't look at the sign. Can I pet her? Don't look, don't look. Her name is Bumpy. Oh. Isn't she cute? She's friendly and food motivated. I think we're moving up to some larger dinosaurs now. I'm speechless. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. We just saw an Indominus Rex eat a large chunk of meat right in front of us. Check this out. We can take a picture with a real gyrosphere. Now look at this little guy here. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cute. What's her name? Sticky. Sticky? Yeah. 
That is so awesome. Thank you so much. Now look, we can say hi to some of the parasaurs that are sleeping. I just have to say one thing. I love the amount of detail and effort they put into this exhibit. It really feels like I'm in Jurassic World right now. That's it, out of containment. What's happening, Eric? I don't know, I know. So one thing I have to say is this was probably the coolest experience slash exhibit I've ever been to. You go face to face with some of your favorite dinosaurs such as the Indominus Rex, the T-Rex. And my favorite moment inside of this attraction was seeing Blue. And one cool addition that we didn't know about was seeing Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous. I've been watching Camp Cretaceous for about a few weeks now and I love the show. So it was a cool surprise to see Bumpy inside of there. <laughs> I want to say a quick thank you to Jurassic World The Exhibition for having us out, checking out this awesome experience if you want to check it out for yourself you can it's over here in san diego so you have to check it out for yourself i'm jp and how they see the movies that's a wrap i'll see you guys in the next one